Today I'm gonna to show you a game that I just got in the mail. It's a classic, but there's a twist. This is Clue, but if you'll notice, it has a ghost in this one. This is the ghost of Mrs. White. She was taken out of the board game. She was killed off as one of the characters several years ago, replaced by this Dr. Orchid character. But now she's back. And as it says in the back here, solve the mystery with the help of the ghost of Mrs. White. Full disclosure, it integrates with Alexa. I just started working on that team, so I wanted to learn more about it. Stick around, I'll open this box up. I'll show you what's inside and give me my thoughts and impressions. I'm a one man show, it's my first game review, so if things get blurry or something happens, I don't, apologies in advance. It's the best you're gonna get. So here we go. Opening this up here. Oh, the satisfaction. Who committed the murder in the mansion? Solve the mystery with the help of the ghost of Mrs. White. Okay, here we go. So inside the box, looks like we have this cardboard thing. It says, uh, I'm reading this upside down. The invitations were delivered. The guests have arrived. The host has been murdered. Killed in cold blood for his inheritance. Six colorful guests are now suspects. It's up to you to solve the classic murder mystery, but the ghost, but the ghost of the loyal housekeeper, Mrs. White, is haunting the halls of the mansion, and she can choose to help you or to hinder you. Which will it be? Who killed Mr. Body with what and where? Dun, dun, dun. So we've got our regular clue pieces here. Opening with the knife, with this knife for dramatic effect. Okay, so you got your regular wrench, your dagger, candlestick, pistol or revolver, I think is what it's referred to in the game, and the, the pipe or crowbar, then the, the rope, definitely rope. Then in this side, we got our dice, but something new here. Regular dice, as you can see. Hopefully that's in focus. Move those over here. Then this bad boy, or should I say, bad lady. This uh, is the ghost of Mrs. White. I'll try and get a close up on that so you can see. It's kind of a translucent plastic. Looks kind of cool. It looks kind of like Mrs. Butters, Mrs. Butterworth, for you maple syrup fans out there. Um, then you got your regular Clue pieces. I haven't played Clue in years, but this looks just like the same. All the other colorful pieces that you get. Again, apologies if this is just really crappy video because I can't see what it's looking like in the recorder. Okay, one. Move all those aside. You got your regular pad. And then this stack of cards, I think. This is gonna be familiar to people. Most of these are. If you haven't played Clue in ages, you'll notice that you got new cards here. Dr. Orchid, Mr. Green, Professor Plum, Colonel Mustard, Miss Peacock. They're all updated here. Um, I'll do like this. Boom, boom, boom. Got your revolver, dagger, lead pipe, rope, candlestick, wrench, card. So. You, Nothing new there. Um, six of those, six rooms. Billiard room, the study, the hall. I've heard there's a version of Clue that replaces the hall with a bathroom for the modern family. Uh, ballroom, conservatory, or I guess any family that needs a bathroom. Okay, and then these are, you'll notice here, these have a ghost on the other end, where, on the other side, where these just have the regular Clue mansion. So, this <clears throat> version of the game can be played with cards or it can be played with an echo device. So this is, there's an accompanying skill. This is the Echo Show 5. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but this is how Mrs. White helps or haunts you. So take a quick break. Oh, let me show you the, the new game board before we jump out of here. What else in here? Um, your regular, your regular uh, envelope where you put the the final answer, 
And then you got clue, instructions, nothing exciting, nothing too exciting there. Let's back the box. And looks like a fairly typical game board. Let me see here. I don't see Professor Plum, Miss Peacock, Mr. Green, Dr. Orchid, Colonel Mustard, Miss Scarlet. Yeah, so they're all. This looks like the board I remember from my childhood, so nothing new to see here. Um, I'll get this set up and then give you an overview of the, the new rules. So, Okay, Shazam. With the help of some movie magic, the board is now ready to go. I have randomly placed the weapons in the different rooms. All the characters are on their places. Um, I reread the rules and remember and had forgotten that Miss Scarlet always goes first. So since I'm just playing by myself, uh, I'm gonna be Miss Scarlet. In reality, you can't play by yourself. At least I don't think you can. Um, but for, you know, it's okay because my wife didn't wanna play with me. Anyway, here we are. So, um, I have all the character cards here. I, I don't see them, I'll shuffle them up. I'm gonna pick one for the envelope, put the rest over here. Do the same with these, uh, I believe these are the weapons cards. That's the one I'm picking, you get to know ahead of me. I'm gonna do the same for this one, I'm gonna pick this one, put it down here. Shuffle the rest of these up. Uh, I swear I'm not looking at that top card. Okay. So I'm just gonna pick my, pretend I'm playing with three people. One, two, three, 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 okay, so that one player, that would go to one player. These go to me. And then these are the solution to who murdered Mr. Body with what and where. They go, as always, in the middle of the deck. So, um, I would then note what I have on my deck right here. Realize that they don't actually have pencils in this version of the game, but they do give you the pad. So, um, anyway, I would know that it's not Colonel Mustard, it's not Mr. Green. It wasn't with the lead pipe or the rope in the ballroom or the lounge. So that would, that would be helpful to me, but we're playing a speed game. So, normally I would roll the dice. I could move any way, I can't go diagonally, I have to enter rooms to make it a suggestion or an accusation, I have to go in by the door, so all this, all the normal clue rules apply. But what makes this unique is if I roll snake eyes or um, double ones, then I could summon the ghost of Mrs. White. Typically what you do is, let's say I had made it into the dining room, uh, let's say the ballroom. I made it into the ballroom. Um, normally I could say, I think it was Mr. Green. I moved Mr. Green in there with the lead pipe in the ballroom. And then the player to my left would have to show me if they had the ballroom card or Mr. Green card or lead pipe to disprove my accusation. But if I rolled doubles, I could summon Mrs. White to the room and if you don't have an Echo device, you can just, I shuffled one of these cards, put them aside. I could draw one of these cards and read it, but I have an Echo device and I've enabled the Ask Mrs. White skill. So we're gonna give this a shot. Alexa, Ask Mrs. White. Let's mix this up. Choose another player, any player you like. They must shuffle their cards, and without looking at them, show you the top card. Ooh, okay, so... Mrs. White is making one of my opponents shuffle their cards, and then they have to show me the top card without them seeing which one it is. So, I would now know that the library is not the murder location. It looks like the skill will keep playing kind of this ambient, like eerie music throughout, which is kind of fun. So let's say keep playing. 
Oh, hey, double fives, look at that. Let's say I get another one. Let's try it again. I'm now in the dining room. And uh, I get double ones. I'm gonna summon Mrs. White there. Alexa, ask Mrs. White. Ha, huh. you thought your day was going well, but that's over now. I'm not going to help you. I'm going to help one of your friends. Show two of your cards to the player to your left. You oh. choose which. What a punk. Okay, so she decided not to help me that time. She said instead I have to choose two of my cards to show to the player to the left. So I'm just going to show them these two. So if I was playing with friends, if I had friends, I'd play with them and I'd show them these two cards. Anyway, uh, that's just kind of a, a fun little twist on the game. It's got this music playing. Again, if I didn't have an Echo device, the same things that she's telling me are right here on these cards. I'm too tired, no clues for you. Instead, swap your hand with the person to your left. So kind of some fun variations on this classic game. Um, it's about the same price as the other one. It's just a fun little change. So if you're looking for clue with a twist, uh, check this one out.